Ian and Tony, you're watching the BBC. A large erection. Uh, presumably not his. Uh, <laughs> it must be his, the way he's moving. Uh, <laughs> this is 60 years of the BBC. Fireworks. So, yep, fireworks. Well spotted, Ian. No. Um, <laughs> Very little gets I, past me, yeah. I tell you. <laughs> Probably fund the whole world service for two of those fireworks. You know, yeah. um, <laughs> up they go. Wow! Let's make another ten thousand people redundant. Whoa! <laughs> Jolly good, Mr. DG. Uh, somebody told me once you mentioned the world service. Somebody told me once they heard a newsreader in one of the sort of, uh, you know, perhaps one of the uh, foreigners sort of reading the, you know, the English news said, um, "The time is ten o'clock Greenwich. Meantime, here is the news." <laughs> There's a big argument about it as well because all the awards were won by very recent programmes. Won it was 60 years, and they were all won in the last two years. I think the best current affairs was won by that day's news. Mm. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a yes. conspiracy theory that, that, that it's just the BBC patting itself on the back, saying how magnificent all our re current programmes are. So it was a bit odd. I mean, the best presenter yeah. ever in the history of the BBC, mm. not David Attenborough. Not Richard Dimbleby, but Dennis. the man who does the sport. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone likes Des Lynham. I, think I, I like the... him, but it's yes. this word best. Is it true that the Doctor Who fan club is all phoned in and sent letters in and voted so that... What, for Des Lynham? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be the new Doctor Who. He was the spring double, Doctor Who. <laughs> Very professional sort of Doctor Who. Well, this could be the end of the world as we know it, but first the football results. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, the BBC also uh, were in the news this week for something else, for publishing something. 250 things you've promised to do, or they promised to do in your behalf, or Mr Burt has promised to do in your behalf. For example, it says they will install talking lifts everywhere. But what's I mean, the lift going to say? It's going to say, I, I am, am a, a lift. lift. <laughs> I was going to say, Bob Dole, you are in a lift. <laughs> <laughs> These are not stairs. <laughs> Don't take this the wrong way, but we'll be going down in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is the celebration of 60 years of the BBC, marked by a star-studded award ceremony. Uh, Britain's leading politicians were asked to nominate their favourite television moment for the last, uh, from the last 60 years. Tony Blair chose the 1966 World Cup final. Paddy Ashdown chose Nelson Mandela's release. And John Major chose the Ron Seal quick-drying varnish ad. LAUGHTER